Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click, and welcome to the next video in the Do More with Click Tips and Tricks Edition series. In the last video, I showed you how to use a button to call an application automation workflow that reloads an app interactively within your Click Sense sheet. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Click application automation to perform platform operations. Before we continue, please be sure to visit the Click Learning Portal at learning.click.com for all your personalized and structured learning needs of what Click has to offer. Here you can select from both free and subscription based content, instructor led training, skills assessments, and robust video tutorials. Check out the video tour on the main page to get started. Okay, so let's get started. I'm in Click Application Automation, and you can see I'm in the blocks called Click Platform Operations. Now, just to show you where this is, if you do a search, you have Basic, Lists, Advanced, Cloud Storage, My Connectors, Other Connectors. And you can see under My Connectors, we have something called Click Platform Operations. And these are all operations that allow you to create, get, update, delete, enable, um, basically anything that you would normally do through either an API or through interactive usage in the UI. For example, if I go to my space and I wanted to add a user, here I would click add a member, and then I would search for the user, for example, we'll just add Denise, and then click add. Well, I can do this through the application automation workflow. So in the automation here, if I just wanted to add a member to a space, I type in add member my tenant is then do more dot us and then the space I'm going to do a lookup we're going to add Denise to the retro gaming space and then for the assigning ID you might pull all of the registered users but I just happen to have that assigning ID here for that particular user and we're going to make uh, Denise a consumer Again, all of this can be done programmatically through the flow. And I'm just going to click Save. Now, my connection has already been set. I'm going to show you how to set that up as well. And I'm just going to click Run. And now we're running that, and you can see it's successful. If we go to Chronological, we can actually look at the detail that happened under the covers. And then if I go to my space, and we just go back, and we go to Space Details, Members. Oh, hey, Denise. She's now added as a can view or the consumer role. Okay, so that was just application automation doing something as simple as adding a member. Now you can do other things as well. Let's go in. I'm just going to delete this particular block. I'm going to go to the operations block. And here I'm going to add a space. So same concept here. My connection's already set up. The tenant is do more.us. The name of the space will be call this one sales and finance. Type will be a shared space. This is a description for sales and finance. Click save and click run. It's finished. Now, if we go back and I go to my catalog and now we do a refresh, you can see now we have a sales and finance space that's been created. So without any code, you can use click application automation to perform a number of back end processes through the use of the platform operations blocks. So let me show you how to set up the connection for the OAuth client between application automation and your tenant. So OAuth is just an authorization standard. It's used by cloud applications, uh, allowing them to access resources on other web applications behalf of a user. So we're going to set that up within Click Cloud, and then we're going to set up the connection within Click Application Automation. So what I'm going to do is just go to my management console, and I'm going to navigate to OAuth. Now here I already have one set up. We're going to create a new one and we're just going to select the client type web. Now there is documentation 
um, that goes into this in more detail on click.dev, but just bear with me as I go through this for the example. The name, we're gonna call this one My OAuth Client 2. Don't worry about description. We don't have to worry about redirect URLs and we're gonna allow machine to machine and click create. Now, when we do that, we get the client ID and the client secret. So I'm just gonna copy these to a clipboard and I'm gonna paste them off screen, click done. And then one thing we need to do is select the menu button and change the consent method to trust it. And now we're ready to go. We don't have to publish this particular connection. It's not required um, for this type of interaction. So now that that's been set up and we got the client ID in the secret, we can now go to click automations. Now I'm just going to remove this block here. I'm going to go to my automations and go to connections. And now you can see we have one already connected. I'm going to add a new connection. And in this case here, we're going to connect to the um, click platform operations connector. Click add. And then we put in the client ID and the client secret. Now this is going to be the new one that we just set up. And now I'll paste in the secret. And click save. And now we have that connection set up here. So now we'll just go to the automations, create a new automation, create a new blank automation. I'll just call this one my operations, create space, click save, go to my click platform operations, create space. And then from connections, we're going to choose the new connection that we just set up. And then for inputs, you need to get the tenant. Okay. Now the tenant, it kind of describes it here. So here you can see up in the URL in the browser, it's do more.us.clickcloud.com. Um, if you don't know exactly the tenant, uh, what you can do is you can get the region name and the tenant. So I'll just put that in there for now. And we're going to right click and disable that block and then just put in the host name. So you can put in do more.us.clickcloud.com. I'm gonna paste it right in there. Make sure my operations to connection is set up. And then we can just save this and run it. And then when we run it, you can actually see the output and the out is do more.us. So technically, if you wanted to use that block Let's enable this block. Instead of typing it in, you can use the output from the previous block. And it even shows you the sample here. So we're gonna select the get tenant name and region. Now the name for the space, we're just gonna call this video example. And type will be shared. Another description, and that's all we need to do. We click save. And now we run and now we're completed go back to our analytics and refresh the browser and there is our video example shared space okay so just a quick video to show you connecting oauth client set up within your click cloud tenant to click application automation and then running some additional platform operations. And you, as you can see, there are a number of them. So basically you are limited to your creativity and imagination. Uh, if there is a limitation of something that you wish you can do, let me know in the comments below, but you can use these workflows to perform a number of automated backend processes for managing the uh, click cloud tenant. All right, guys, I will see you on the next video. Take care.